Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Aimbot Allstar. I'm going to be bringing you guys another video on my channel and today this is actually going to be how to level up faster in Overwatch and breaking down the XP outputs. Basically one of the fastest most efficient ways to level up I'm giving you guys some good tips and tricks along the way so you guys can speed up leveling, leveling process and all in all get to that maximum prestige as fast as possible. Now if you guys do enjoy the video make sure to smack that thumbs up button down below. Also make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already for more Overwatch content along the way as well as news tips tricks and info and without further ado you guys let's get right into the video so you guys i'm going to be breaking it down right here you're going to be seeing a little picture on screen right now don't be scared you guys i meant for that to happen anyway we're going to be showing you guys a little basically the entire post on the website known as d2jsp and this is basically just posted by a junior moderator known as Spetch and he is a trader and he's trusted with 40 gold and this guy posted this on May 25th 2016 but he updated it on June 5th he also said if any of this information is outdated or wrong send me a PM so don't worry you guys this is a very very trusted source and this will be updated throughout the year so if you guys ever want to do check back to it link in the description down below so you guys definitely actually can go and make sure that you follow up on this if it ever changes or updates now you guys Right here, we're going to be coming off. You'll receive actually 4.01 XP for each second you are in an active match. You will also receive an XP bonus reward based on your highest medal earned. So if you earn a gold medal, it's worth 150 XP. Silver is 100, and bronze medals are only worth 50. Remember, guys, medals do not stack. 250 XP is rewarded if you stuck around until the very end of the match, win or lose. Finally, you get a 500 XP bonus if you win the match in question. So you guys... Now you guys are going to be wondering, may aimbot, how do I level up and how much XP do I need per level? And that is, level 1, you only need 1,500. Level 2, 1,300. And you guys can see we're just gradually going up by 1,500 right now. So level 3, it's going to be 4,500. 4, 600, well, 60, 100, and, uh, well, 6,000, I guess, I don't know, level 5, 7,500, 6, 8,500, 7, 9,500, 8, 10, well, 1, 10,500, then 9 is, I mean, um, yeah, 9 is actually 11,500, 10 is 12,500, 11 is 13,500, 12 is the 14,500, 13, is 15,500, 14, 16,500, 15, 17,500. So at level 15, when you actually have to put in 17,500 XP, just keeps going gradually all the way up, increasing by 1,000, all the way up to level 23, where it then becomes the same thing all the way up until level 100, where it's 22,000 XP to level up each time. So at level 23, that is the maxed out, so it stops increasing the XP output, and at that point, that's about it. Also, you get a 20% XP bonus from playing with friends. Now, once you guys reach level 100, you guys can then use the opportunity to prestige, where you then get a new border around your little emblem thing, you know, your hero emblem, whatever you guys want to call it, your career profile. At that point, you also get a star by it to basically show that you prestige, something like that, just an incentive. Then, not only that, you then go back to level 1. Now, we do not, ha we're, it's not confirmed or denied yet. We have no really, like, uh, he hasn't put anything on the post yet, and we don't really know if you can prestige more than once at the moment. Hasn't been done yet, I don't believe. But even then, we don't know more about any other borders but for right now at level 100 when you do prestige you do get a special little border to show that you have prestiged now you guys one thing that i can give you guys tips on doing is basically just consecutively winning rep matches honestly and staying in them for the full time not only that don't leave the match queue those are some of the biggest ones as well as playing with friends now the reason these ones are with playing with friends you get a 20 percent xp bonus which adds up really really big that's 20 percent xp boost with everything so it's plus 20 percent of 100 f 150 XP if you get one gold medal, everything like that. It's really, really huge. And also, not only that, but it's a 20% XP bonus for the amount of, you know, you get 4.01 XP every second you stay in the game. So that plus 20%, you guys do the math. That's actually a pretty good, decent amount. You win consistent consecutive matches it turns from 250 xp per match for just staying in them but then when you consecutive consecutively do it without actually leaving the match or anything like that you guys eventually get that 250 xp not only that you guys if you win the match you get a 500 xp bonus well you just get 500 xp if you guys win the match but if you win or lose you get 250 xp no matter what so it's looking pretty good you guys honestly that the, the best things i can give you guys as for tips and tricks in this game is to stay in the match 
watch the whole entire time. Go for the win and play the objective. Play with your buddies and stay in a group. Play consecutive matches and definitely, definitely go for medals and try to get those gold medals as much as you can. And that's honestly some of the best tips I can give you guys. Honestly, like I said, playing the objective, playing with your team. It's a very team-based game. You guys, you guys can't really just go out on your own and expect results in this game. It's not like that. So you guys, like I said, play with your team, play with your buddies, whatever you guys got to do. I know there's a lot of people on the Reddit forums, which I will be putting the link in the description down below. So you guys can go check that out. There are a lot of people always asking for other people to play with them on Overwatch. It's honestly a lot more fun with friends if you guys don't know this already. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, make sure to smack that thumbs up button down below. Maybe comment down below what you guys think about this video maybe some new topic ideas for my next video on overwatch and as always you guys if you guys haven't already make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and also comment what you guys want to see more from overwatch and more from me it's also like the video guys did enjoy anyway it's been your boy aimbot and i'm signing out guys peace